I don't want to talk about game one in the Oilers Canucks series, but remember that time Vancouver fans rioted in 2011? Let's take a look at why that happened. To be fair, Edmonton has had its share of hockey-related mayhem as well. White Ave saw destruction, public drunkenness, and injuries during the Oilers' 2006 Stanley Cup run. I remember watching it happen on the 11 o'clock news when I was 14. Former EPS officer and criminologist Dan Jones was working in the middle yeah. of it. The beginning of the of the 2006 Stanley Cups, uh, our direction from the leadership was just to let them like have White Ave. Uh, give them a certain amount of space, let people kind of do their thing and and not really enforce anything. And what happened was you just kept seeing the more you let them, the more they would take. Uh, and then when we, they, they switched commanders uh, and then they they started to tighten it up and we really had, really literally almost had a police officer every 10 feet. While mob mentality is nothing new, not surprisingly, Jones says destruction on White Ave in 2006 scaled down as uniformed police presence was beefed up. While alcohol is most certainly a factor, there's no telling why Edmonton smashed things after a happy win, as opposed to Vancouver fans burning the city down after their Stanley Cup loss in 2011. You have your everyday normal people who are going to work every day and then deciding to smash windows of stores. There hasn't been any mass fan destruction on White Avenue since 2006, and yes, that's probably in part because of the decade of darkness as the Oilers continued to lose. But Jones says the difference now is that fans have a public space to gather in the ice district. But I think with them having the way how they have it contained in an area where you can't really wreck anything in that area, and, and then they have the TVs up, and they just kind of, it seems to have that they've made it a, a more appropriate way to end enjoy the game in an outside venue. Edmonton has seen one other riot that wasn't hockey related. That was the Canada Day riot of 2001. Reporting from Edmonton, Darcy Ropchan, City News.